Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Site Blogger, and today I have a brand new Canva tutorial. So you know that last month, um, or in September, I think, um, Canva released a bunch of new features, and they had the Magic Studio at that time. And I'm sure some of you probably had the time to go and look at all the different types of features. And I personally have been playing around with some of them myself, one of the features that I think is really cool that today I wanted to show you kind of is the tool that's called Magic Grab. So uh, basically the Magic Studio uh, that Canva released has a lot of AI um, related tools. Basically um, using AI, um, you can do a lot of cool things with your designs. So Magic Grab is one of them. And uh, to understand what Magic Grab is in simple terms, you can select an image and using uh, Canva's, um, the Magic Grab tool, basically what it does is it isolates uh, recognizable uh, shapes. And then um, once it does that, once it isolates that shape from an image, you can kind of move that shape around within the same image or even copy and paste it into a completely different image. And I am about to show you what I mean by that. And I'll show you a couple of uses of um, this tool that you can use to create interesting designs. So let's get to it. So the first thing I want to show you is um, where to you know, uh, try it out. So if you go to canva.com, if you have an account, uh, at the very top, well, not at the very top, but if you scroll down and see the newest features, one of them you'll see, if you follow my mouse, the yellow blob, one of them is called the Magic Grab. So find it there, click it, and it will kind of show you uh, basically how to use the tool. So read the instructions and then try it out for the first time so you know what's going on. So as it shows you. Um, number one here, it tells you click magic grab. So in order to do that, just click on the image and then click edit photo. And then you should see the magic studio tools at the top in this left panel. And one of them is magic grab. So this is the magic grab tool. If you follow my mouse, and as you can see, it's a, it's a premium uh, tool, so only um, Canva Pro users are able to use it. So if you don't have Canva Pro, um, I will have a link to a trial, 45-day trial, at the description of this, uh, of this tutorial video. So feel free to sign up for free. Um, that will allow you to test it out. And you can do it for free. You don't have to pay if you don't have a pro account yet. Um, so anyway, so once you click Magic Grab, as you can see, it automatically selected this portion, the um, the air balloon, basically. So it's a recognizable shape. It's it's a prominent shape. And using AI and whatever you know, magic Canva has come up with, uh, with their codes and everything, it can. Um, isolate that area. It was part of, before clicking Magic Grab, it was part of the image, but after clicking Magic Grab, it's now an isolated shape. And you can move it around within this image. You can even resize it if you want, make it bigger or smaller. And then you can even move it to a completely different image, like so. So that's basically how the magic or uh, magic grab tool works. Now let me show you um, how to do that um, using different images. So let's let's get rid of this design window and let me create a new design. Let's stick with a square shape. And um, like I said, it it plays better with the recognizable shapes, so prominent shapes. And I will show you what I mean by that. Let's give it a background color just so we know what we're doing. 
let's pick an image. Let's go to the Photos tab. And let's see. I have some of my recently used images over here. So let's pick a pick something that's recognizable. So how about this dog? The dog is recognizable. And um, you know, it has a clear, it has a faded black background. It's not very noisy. So when I say a recognizable shape, um, so basically the shape has to be prominent and hopefully not too noisy. So this is a, I think this is a good image to work with because it has a faded background and the dog's shape is very prominent. Um, so let's work with that. And now let's create another a page. So let's just create a different page and let's use a different image. So maybe this beach image. So what I want to do is I want to isolate the dog shape from here, from this image, and then drop it in this image, the beach image. So to isolate that, I will click the image, the dog's image, and then I will go at the top panel, the top toolbar, and then click edit photos right here. And then from the top uh, under Magic Studio in the left panel, I will click Magic Grab. And as you can see, it automatically isolated the dog shape. So basically, you can't really choose which shape to isolate. So it's better to use an image where you have like a prominent shape so that um, the Magic Grab tool can automatically understand that, okay, this is the shape that needs to be isolated. So when, when it is isolated, as you can see, you can kind of move it around like so. And then you can just grab it and drop it in the second image like that. See, it's now, this used to be just a beach image and now it's a beach image with a dog. You can reshape, resize it like so. And then just drop it on that and it's now an image of a beach with a dog on it. Pretty cool, right? So you can do fun things like that. You, if you have like one image, you have, you have like two images or multiple images and you can kind of play around with, you know, switching things around a bit um, and it works like that. And it's, I think it's, it's a pretty good tool to make interesting things, interesting images. Um, feel free to play around with it and see if you like it. I personally think it's kind of cool. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to use it. Um, like in its practical uses. If you're someone who does a lot of image editing and if you have clients, if you work with clients and they have certain needs, I think this tool will be really useful to you. Personally, I'm a blogger. I don't really do a lot of image editing, so it's not something that I will be using too much, but I always like to see what new tools Canva comes up with so I can play around with them. Um, and it's the Magic Grab tool is definitely one of my favorites um, from the recent new tools that Canva has um, released because it's just really fun. I, I was playing around with it this morning and it was a lot of fun. Anyway, before I go, I want to quickly show you what happens when you have an image that's not that doesn't have like a prominent shape. So let's get rid of this image. And let's choose something that's a little more complex. So let's choose this one. So this is uh, an image of a hand and some flowers around it and um, a shadow, as you can see behind this hand, there's a shadow of the hand on the wall. So let's see what happens when I click Magic Grab on this image. So I'll select this image, click Edit Photo and click Magic Grab. And it did isolate parts of it. It isolated the hand and the flowers. So it's not too bad, actually. It's kind of cool. But it didn't do anything with the shadow, which is fine. Um, this may be exactly what you're looking for, you know. So if I move it, as you can see, it's, it's still pretty cool. Um, so it's still workable. And if this is something you want, then this is, this is actually pretty good. I think Canva has done a pretty good job. But let's pick something a little more complex than this. So let's get a 
get rid of this one and let's choose this one. So this one is an image of a woman and a lot of like confetti flying around her. So let's see what happens if I click um, magic grab on this one. So it selected, it isolated the woman. And let's make it a little bigger and see what it looks like. So it still did a pretty good job. It did an okay job, I think, because if I zoom it out, as you can see, it missed part of the hair. It kind of took out all the confetti-like shape and just kept the woman's shape, which isn't bad, but because the original image was so busy, it didn't do like a perfect job. So this is what I mean by, you know, choosing something that has like a very prominent shape that you're not going to accidentally lose parts of the image because when um, the magic grabs isolates an image, if it's too busy, it will have a hard time understanding where the actual boundaries of the image is or the shape is that it's trying to pick. Um, so yeah, so if you have like a really busy image like this one, I would recommend um, you can try it out and see because sometimes you might still get something really good. Uh, but you'll definitely get a better um, isolation with a photo that has like a very clear shape with clear boundaries like this photo of the dog. Um, because then, you know, it just automatically, it does it really quickly, just, you know, um, takes the shape of the dog. Actually, this time it didn't do a very good job of isolating it. Let's try it again. So as you can see, even even with the same image, um, sometimes it does a better job than the other. Now it did a better job. Now it's like complete. Oh, what's happening? Hmm. For some reason, it's misbehaving. If it does that, try um, refreshing the window and then... Um, do it again. Let's see. Click magic grab because last time you did a very good job. Yeah, yeah, now I did that. For some reason, um, it was misbehaving earlier. So yeah, if it, it if it misbehaves, try a few times. Try um, refreshing the design window because sometimes that may be the reason why um, it glitches out. But if it does that, try refreshing the design and try using Magic Grab again and then um, hopefully that will fix it. But yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool tool and I'm sure you'll find some use for it depending on what kind of job you do with your Canva account. Um, but yeah, it's pretty fun, right? So that's it for the tutorial. And just to recap, when you want to use the magic grab tool, just grab an image, hopefully an image that has some very um, recognizable shape, um, like the, or maybe even this one. Let's see what it does with this one. Um, and to use the tool, first, you know, drop the image in a design and then click the image to select it and then click edit photo and then click magic grab and then wait until it isolates a recognizable shape from the image and sometimes it takes a little longer than usual and then once it isolates that image you can just move it around like so pretty cool right it isolated the entire woman's um, face and her body. So basically just got rid of the background altogether. And this is the shape that remains. And I think that's kind of cool, actually. You can even make it bigger, smaller, if you want to, like so. Yeah, and that's it. 
That's the tutorial for today, and hopefully I will see you with a different tutorial, whether Canva-related or something else, um, pretty soon. Bye!